a very good evening to all of you honorable consul general john ma sri sharle mr sumit anand president of ifcci dr vipin sharma ceo of mdc uh, spail cover director general of ifcci ladies and gentlemen at the very outset i would like to thank ifcci for organizing invest in maharashtra and specially attracting all the french companies to the state of maharashtra i am aware that uh, maharashtra has always been a very favored destination for uh, all the french companies but i think uh, we can do more we can do better and uh, with interactions like this uh, i think we'll get closer to the investors we can actually address them we can handhold and uh, we can create a win win proposition so i think uh, today's this uh, entire deliberation is very special for uh, our government and on behalf of government of maharashtra i would like to welcome you all uh, to uh, this this uh, deliberation uh, having said that i am very delighted that uh, today i have been asked to speak on a issue which is very dear to to myself uh, all of us know that india has become uh, fifth largest economy of world it's the fastest growing economy of world and our honorable prime minister shri narendra modi ji aspires to make india a 5 trillion economy and uh, in this journey of making india a 5 trillion economy of course uh, maharashtra has a big role to play so there is no question whether maharashtra will uh, lead the way maharashtra has to lead the way to make india a uh, 5 trillion economy by making maharashtra a trillion dollar economy and uh, i think uh, if you look at some statistics i would say that uh, right now maharashtra with uh, around 9% of india's population is contributing 15% to the national gdp uh, all of us know that mumbai which is capital of of maharashtra it's not just capital of maharashtra but it's a uh, financial uh, capital of india it's entertainment capital of india it is commercial capital of india and i would say that it's also fintech capital of india so with uh, mumbai uh, at a strong base at a center i think uh, maharashtra has to lead the way maharashtra accounts for 25% of indian export 28% of uh, all the fdi that comes to india it accounts for 20% of the uh, india's industrial output and uh, if you look at uh, uh, you know seven year cagr barring the covid years it has been uh, around uh, more than 10% so if we look at the demography 57% of our population is below 27 years i think uh, with this uh, very aspiring population which is actually changing the uh, contours of development uh, maharashtra is is leading the way and uh, i i must also tell you that uh, uh, maharashtra has highest number of universities uh, present in india we are actually uh, largest producer of electricity we are largest consumer of electricity so there are many things where uh, uh you know maharashtra uh, leads the way and uh, i think uh, it's very economically powerful and very forward looking state very welcoming state and i think uh, uh when we look at uh you know our aim of becoming a trillion dollar economy what really we uh, want to do and how we want to do it is is, is a real question and i would say that uh uh basically technology is something uh, which is going to lead the way uh, towards this trillion dollar economy because 
uh, all of us know that technology is a is a force multiplier it is one single enabler which actually uh, you know takes you to to leap uh, frog and i think uh, technology is something which uh, actually by its design it's very inclusive and it actually does not discriminate uh, whether it is uh, consul general or whether it is devendra fadnavis technology treats everybody at at a same place and at same space so uh, i think uh, each one of us uh, is in a virtual queue uh, uh, on the basis of you know logic of first in first out so i think technology is something which is which will take us which will lead us towards trillion dollar economy and with the use of technology uh, basically uh, our strategy is that the speed of travel and the speed of data are two things which will determine our uh, you know pace of uh, becoming trillion dollar economy and uh, so far as speed of travel is concerned uh, you can see that uh, in the state of maharashtra we are creating best of the infrastructure best of the roads we recently created nagpur mumbai communication super express way uh, this super express way is one of its kind super express way which is connecting uh, you know 14 districts to the jnpt port jnpt port which accounts for 60% of our uh, container traffic and i think uh, with that the port led development is able to reach to different parts of of uh, the state of maharashtra you can see we are creating best of the bridges you can see we are connecting mumbai to new mumbai by 22 kilometers or sea bridge which is uh, i think largest in the asia and uh, we are creating uh, best of the metro network we are creating a uh, 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 transportation system which is based on uh, green fuel which is based on alternate fuel so i think uh, by the speed of travel and of course with the speed of data because now we are in the era of 5g and uh, with our honorable prime minister's initiative of uh, uh, bharat net by which uh, now the fiber has reached to almost 29000 uh, gram panchayats of maharashtra every gram panchayat is powered with the fiber and with the usage of 5g we would uh, uh, be enabling uh, the healthcare the education uh, and all these sectors to reach to the last man of the society so this growth model which we are creating for a trillion dollar economy is a very inclusive model which is which is creating new business opportunities which is which is creating uh, you know uh, better lives for uh, 12 crore uh, people who stay in the state of maharashtra and i think uh, uh, this uh, speed of data uh, will change the way we have been doing our business i think uh, uh, i i must share with you that on 8th of march i presented i am also finance minister so i presented my uh, annual budget and i am very happy to tell you that this year will cross half a trillion mark and uh, i'm sure that uh, uh, with consistent effort in uh, next 5 uh, to 7 years uh, we will be able to to reach this uh, trillion dollar economy mark and i'm i'm very sure that uh, uh, the institutions which we have created we have we have created a advisory council Uh, in the state of maharashtra this advisory council is headed by n chandrashekaran who is uh, uh, you know chairman of tata sons and 20 top ceos of india are part of this advisory council and this advisory council is charting our uh, way towards trillion dollar economy and i think uh, uh, they know the industry better they know uh, how to handle the investments better and uh, we have assured them that uh, whatever plan they create it's it's actually uh, we are doing it together but whatever plan they create the state of maharashtra is going to implement it so i think uh, our dialogue with the industry uh, has been very strong and uh, our policies are actually uh, we are we are, we are framing our policies uh, in consultation uh, with the with the industry stakeholders and also uh, we have we have created uh, mitra mitra is uh, actually uh, our state avatar of niti ayog so 
the niti ayog which is now the premier institution of uh, uh, you know reinventing india that that uh, that has proved uh, very successful in uh, reforming uh, the policies and especially uh, in accelerating our economy now the state avatar of niti ayog has been created as mitra and it's also working with the economic advisory council so as to uh, you know uh, so as to accelerate our our growth and so as to make us uh, achieve this uh, trillion dollar status as early as possible having said that uh, we have been working on green energy as well and specially uh, uh, in our state now we have formulated a policy whereby we are actually in a phase of uh, transition uh, by which entire our agriculture load of 8000 megawatt will be shifted on solar we have already started that so feeder solarization uh, is 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 a task which we have taken and i think in next two years when we totally transit uh, our agri power consumption from uh, you know uh, conventional power to uh, solar power that will enable us to actually uh, you know bring down the cost of power uh, for industries because today industries are paying 13000 crore cross subsidy to subsidize the uh, the power for agriculture so i think uh, that will not only you know uh, be environmental friendly that would not only uh, you know bring down the emissions but that would also uh, help the industries to bring down their cost and uh, thereby uh, you know cheap electricity will also be uh, available uh, to the to the industries i think uh, i must tell you the speed at which we work because uh, earlier when we created first metro uh, in maharashtra it took 11 years to create first metro and uh, it was a uh, uh, 11 kilometers metro and it took 11 years but uh, while i took over as chief minister we actually uh, uh, you know started building 337 kilometers of metro out of which already uh, we have dedicated uh, 30 kilometers 50 kilometers we are again dedicating this year by next year it will be 100 kilometers so at a very fast pace and i must tell you not just in mumbai but uh, uh, the metro network which we have created in pune and which we have created in nagpur the speed of building metro has been uh, you know uh it it has actually created a world record it has been fastest uh, ever built metro so we are working at a very high speed in creating uh, uh, you know uh, this transportation networks uh, by which uh, uh, you know entire entire uh, cities are changing entire the way uh, we used to commute uh, that is also changing i must also tell you that many times people claim that uh, uh, bangalore is a startup capital some say hyderabad is a startup of course these these cities have done uh, very good in startup but i must tell you by actual numbers if we go then out of uh, around 80000 uh, startups in india uh, 15000 startups are registered in maharashtra and that is the highest number so i think the uh, the startup capital of india is maharashtra and out of uh, 100 unicorns Uh, 25 unicorns belong to the state of Maharashtra. So we have a, a very robust uh, uh, ecosystem in startup. We are also fintech capital now, and I think, uh, uh, having said that, uh, I must also tell you that uh, the entire uh, out of entire data center capacity that is created in India, 65 percent capacity is created in the state of Maharashtra. So I think that we are also data capital of of of, of India. and uh, with this 22 kilometers bridge uh, which is joining mumbai to new mumbai entire new ecosystem will be open because this is a third mumbai which is going to be uh, developed very fast and it's not just uh, the connectivity to the mumbai but the new airport of mumbai is also coming there so by end of this year will be starting the trans harbor link by end of next year will be starting our uh, new airport and with the data center capacity which is created there and uh, the entire ecosystem which is created there i think uh, uh, the the next you know technology investments would come in that area itself i know why why we lost uh, uh, 
some sort of investment in in past few years because uh, somehow for tech companies mumbai became unaffordable mumbai has its own limitation because it's a, it's a coastal city and uh, somehow uh, the rentals became unaffordable but i'm i'm now telling you that uh, the rentals and and the infrastructure would uh, be better than uh, uh, bangalore and hyderabad in in mumbai and in the uh, the new mumbai which we are creating and of course uh, you know you won't uh, you you won't be stuck in the traffic jams because of you know the infrastructure which we have created so that is going to that is going to actually uh, create a entirely uh, a new ecosystem in in our state so i think uh, uh, with all these uh, uh, initiatives maharashtra is developing at at a at a very great uh, pace and uh, all of us know that uh, uh, pune which is actually our manufacturing hub uh, which is also our knowledge hub and now that our prime minister aspires to make a, uh, you know take our share in manufacturing to 25% and uh, with the geopolitical situation where uh, people are now talking about china plus one policy i think that plus one is going to come to india and that in from in india that is going to come to the state of maharashtra so we are absolutely ready to welcome uh, you know all of you and to those who really want to aspire who, who aspire and really want to come to the to the state and our midc ceo has made you a presentation have given you presentation and midc is our one stop shop uh, whereby uh, you know all uh, uh, all the facilities for the industries are offered midc has largest land bank midc has best of the infrastructure and now with our new uh, legislation which we have made we have also created a entity uh, that entity is uh, by law uh, it is empowered to actually give all clearances to to uh, investor so now the investor uh, doesn't have to you know run from pillar to post and many times uh, uh, we say that there is a single window system but uh, it occurs that uh, uh, passing that single window there are many doors you have to knock and then several doors when they open there are several windows so our single window system would not be like that our single window system is absolutely uh, enabled by the law whereby the single entity has been given powers of all the departments if the departments don't respond in a stipulated time then the overriding power is given to our authority they can give the permission on behalf of that department thereby we will stick to all our you know timelines because we know that uh, ease of doing business and cost of doing business are two things which are absolutely important if we uh, we want to attract the investment and let me assure you that ease of doing business and cost of doing business on both parameters maharashtra will be the best it is the best but we are trying to improve it more so that you know uh, investing in maharashtra is a is a is a very hassle free uh, uh, you know business uh, recently i had a a very fruitful meeting with uh, the honorable uh, ambassador of france in india and i think uh, uh, we could uh, uh, actually discuss uh, uh, many things like technology green transition uh, waste management uh, uh, smart cities and uh, with uh, you know today's conference and with today's deliberation i think we are uh, we are going a step forward so i am very happy that today uh, we will be uh, actually entering into uh, mous worth around 6000 crore i think that's just a beginning and uh, uh, you know for all the investors uh, i would like to assure you that your experience will be best and uh, we would actually uh, we we know that we share our future because if you prosper we will prosper so with uh, you know that motto we are actually welcoming you i am very happy that uh, uh, you know uh, these mous are happening here and let me tell you that this 5 trillion economy for india and trillion dollar economy for maharashtra uh, will be a dream which will come true with uh, you know shared efforts of uh, all of us and you will be the stakeholders you will be the part of you know uh, unleashing this dream so thank you very much thank you for having me here thank you for hearing me jai hind jai maharashtra